Herman Sauter's shot is good. So Herman Sauter completes a three-point play, makes it now an 8-7 Pokemon lead. The Caps are fresh. Caps with the basketball nearly thrown away. They beat the press. Barrett across the 10-second line. Barrett on front of Bev. That's the Gary Mann on the standing dribble. Right back quarter court they go now with a pass to Juan L. Warren. Warren heading left side to Barron. Barron out of the cloud. 650 to play. McLeod cross court to Bass. Get it to Mosley. Short jump shot up and will mean no good. Rebound taken down by Brady. Brady for the Wildcats. In the middle they go to James. James for Kokomo. To McCauley across the timeline. Brian Stump puts it back to James. James out of McCauley. His long jump shot is good. A three-pointer hit by Brian McCauley from 20 feet out. His second three in the ball game. 11 to 7. McLeod back in. He goes all the way. Shot up. No, but it went for the three with three points in the ball game. And a banking three-pointer at the end of the first quarter. First free throw is no good. And a long rebound taken down by Marby. Marby across the timeline. Far sidelines to McCauley. Brian Stump to the left side. Back to Bobby. Bobby Curls top of the key. Doubles right side to James. James holding high. Back to the point to Bobby. Barry on the dribble. Now right back quarter court James. Right face by McCauley. Another long one. Got it again. Three more for Brian McCauley. He did three three-point field goals in the first half. And Kokomo leads by seven. Here's the press broken. And they just threw the ball away. The crowd came down the back can lead. And Kerry Marby on the way side right with the dribble. Drops the dribble up across the tie ball. Michael Gaines on the right side. One dribble to left hand looking. Bounces it back out front out of Marby. Marby to Gaines. Attacking the zone. Gaines to the basketball. They're running McCauley through it. So they go cross court now to Marby. Left corner now with a feed to Coomer. Lee starts to back his way in. Gets it back to uh, Marby. Marby pivoting. Bounces down low. Brady. Brady left side to Coomer. Lee's in a baseline drive. Got a whistle to the Here's the inbounds, another long one. McCauley got it again. That's a long two-pointer for Brian. He has 11 first-half points. Now back in the way with a pull-up jump shot. That's no good. Shot missed by Barron. Rebound taken down by Marby. Kokomo running. Can't find nine. Games across the sideline. Kokomo starting to get it together now. Here's Kerry Marby, top of the key. Marby bouncing right side. Games right baseline. Brady wheels inside. Short jumper. No good off the glass. And a rebound taken down on top by Gary Mann. Down, yanked down by Barron. Barron not a pass. Pass across the 10-second line. The host of the ball, 458 to play first half. A nine-point Kokomo lead at 16-7. The Wildcats have scored 11 in a row. Here's fast to the basketball at the top of the key. That's what failed 7-5 early in the second quarter, but they've run off 11 straight points. McLeod dribbles around, shovels the pass. Fast to the basketball, circling. Fast still on the dribble, not in the cloud. Cloud starts to drive, cuts right across the other half of the free throw circle, now bounces the pass, return pass to McLeod, fires up a three-pointer, that's no good. McCauley with a rebound, Brian fouled in the back of Jersey, just simply it's not attempting many free throws, he does fire and hit, but we got to try to get wide at the line more often, next free throw is good, so McCauley gets a couple from the line, 18 is settled out, Pokemon leads by 11 in pressing, with a basketball bearing, here's fast, long out of four, that pass is thrown away, goes over Sinclair's head, picked off by Marty. Very good to up across the timeline for the Wildcats. Kokomo scored 13 straight points. Marby, Sivity, and all kinds of trouble. Ball knocked away, gets it back. Sends the right side now to McCauley. McCauley to Marby. Marby begins to attack the zone. Now a key line on the left side. Back court goes McCauley. Wide open again. Another bomb. Good again. Three-pointer for Ryan McCauley. Oh, man, what a second quarter for McCauley. 13 second quarter points. He has 16 now in the ball game. He is on fire from three inside. Shot up low, but it was for the foul called. McLeod at the line for two. First free throw is good. That's free throw up and good. So McLeod hits a couple from the line. Make it a 21-9 ball game. Pressure in the backcourt by Gary. Crawley, who nearly stole it. Marby, Gary across the timeline. The pass right side to McCauley. Left court to Sheeline. Out of the point to Marby. Back to Sheeline, far sideline. Marley, looking, still looking, jump at Brady, Brady may walk out away with it, tries to score, so Matt Brady, a little bit of indecision as soon as he took the pass, but then started it up and cut down the lane to score it, his first two points for the ball game, 23 to 9, that's broken, here's the pass now to Warren, and a shot put up, no good, Warren rebound up, no good, rebound put out, and back up and good, so three tries at a basket, and finally, a Warren, Finishes it off for Gary Mann to make it a 23 to 11 ball game. 
Bobby double team in the backcourt, gets it to McCauley, long down the floor to Sheline, in the middle of Brady, great save by Sheline to Bobby. Bobby with the ball right side to McCauley to Sheline. Sheline left wing, top of the key, Bobby, with the foul call, the switch around the goals already in this ball game. Bobby's free throw is good. So Terry Moss is 17 out of 19. Bobby's next one, Remy no good. And the rebound taken down inside by Gary. Here come the horsemen. With the basketball, that is McLeod to pass across the timeline. Got to McLeod on the right side. Right baseline, Warren to McLeod. Starts to penetrate, cut off. Shovels in the lane, ball knocked away. Silver by Kimmer. Kimmer now races out the floor. Lee shovels right side to Alex Dunkelheim for the one and one. Lee with two points in the ball game. His free throw is up, no good. A rare miss at the far line for Kimmer. Came in at 86% from the line. And the rebound taken down by Gary. Bass, War, he's going to bomb up a high archer from the left side. That's no good. And the rebound taken down by Kimmer. The miss here's to McCauley. McCauley across the timeline. Back out front again to Michael Gaines. James takes the dribble up, far side line for Kimmer, down low to go to Brady, light him up on the air, and a nice court there. Getting that Brady wide open inside to score off the Kimmer feed, 26 to 11, Coco down by 15, McLeod has been knocked away by McCauley, but McLeod picks it up, gets it to Bass, reverses, and will miss, gets up, no good, Brady rebounds, Brady double goes to James, here come the Wildcats again, Michael across the timeline, James, top of the key, takes the dribble up, looking, pivoting, bounces to McCauley, another long one up, no good this time, Brady with a rebound, spins, jump, shoots, no good, and the rebound taken down by Ward, Ella pass to Bass, three on two, lead pass, and they just threw the ball away, as McLeod trying to get, Brady went on briefly, looks like Matt, uh, with the heavily taped nose, is about ready to check back in the ball game now, James across the timeline, James stops right side, Kimmer, Lee fires the pass, that's the cross, trying to get it to McCauley, pass is intercepted, picked off by McLeod, Cloud anticipating well, goes to Warren, left side not a bad. Bass for the ball, hooks the pass out to McLeod, in the lane they go now, to Barron, completed to Rabbit, drops it back to McLeod, and now to Bass. One minute to play, first half, a 15 point Pokemon lead, 26 to 11. Wildcats flowing, getting off the mark tonight, but uh, they reeled out 16 in a row at one time here in the second quarter. Here's a near steal down low. Aaron wheels inside, will fire it up, that's no good. Aaron Alexander with a strong rebound. On the pass goes to Gaines. Gaines for the Wildcats, crosses the timeline with 44 seconds to play. Pocono will spread over the floor now. Gaines right side to McCauley. Heads to the middle of the floor. There's a pass left side now to Kimmer with 35. Lee Kimmer with the basketball. Lee starts to drive. He cuts down the lane. will pull up and fire an eight foot jump down and score. Oh, pretty move here by Kimmer. A little hesitation to get away from the defender and pull up and fire one up and in. 28 to 11, Kokomo. 20 seconds to play first half. Bass looping pass across the timeline. McLeod. McLeod back to Bass now with 14. Gary Mann, here's a looping pass to Mosley High Post. Right side, McLeod just threw the ball away. But Michael Gaines touches and crosses the timeline with six. Gaines is on a drive. Michael nearly loses it. Stops right baseline, fires it outside to McCauley. His jump shot is up and Remy no good as the buzz is poking over. They control the opening tip into the backcourt, and Troy Steiner will set it up. Matt Williams will guard him man-to-man. -man. They go down low on the blocks to Snyder. Turns, fires, miss, but he's fouled. And it's going to be an early, probably find the guy that Caleb's guarding. If they're going man, let's try going to him early on. Exactly what I was going to say, Mike. That'll be right in his plan book right there. Snyder, 6'5", senior, strong kid. And they got a good, strong line in Snyder, Kumler, and Brady. Snyder's free throw on the way. Back of the iron, no good. The one struggle is a team from the charity stripe. Next one by Snyder, good. And Kokomo leads it one to nothing. And they'll pick him up pressure. And Jason Young dribbles right through it. Goes around two or three to... Defenders brings the front court and will slow it down. And Kokomo, they'll play a lot of zone. They call it a matchup. See how the Berries handle it. Jason Young dribbles down left corner. Will fire for three. Missed it. Rebounded out of there by Kokomo's Kumler. And ahead they go quickly. Steiner to the front court. They got Snyder down low on the blocks. Turns, muscled it. Double team. Tried to kick it back out. Matt Williams deflected it. But Steiner got it back for Kokomo. And he'll retreat out on the dribble between the circles. Steiner goes right corner. Pump fake. Pulling up his McCauley. Baseline jumper good from 10. And Kokomo's jumped out to a 3-0 lead just 45 seconds into it. Jason Young on the walk this time as Kokomo did not press. Down on the left wing, he'll lob it across court. Caleb Springer triple team down there. They kick it out now to Danley. Whip it left wing. Almost threw it over Jason Young's head. Young out on the left wing. Fakes the three. Goes in the corner. Buzz Miller. Back to Young. Left open for three. Hit it. Well, Jason Young's probably got to look for more shots tonight, even if sometimes they're not good ones because they're going to need him, and we're tied at three on Young's three-pointer. 
So the front court comes Snyder on the dribble. Comes out to Kumler at the left wing. They run a backdoor cut underneath the Steiner. Laid it up. Missed it. Rebound Caleb Springer. Young's got Daly ahead of the pack but didn't see him. Now feeds Caleb in traffic and it's going to be an offensive foul on Caleb oh Springer. Boy. Into a mess. It was a sloppy, careless pass that got him in trouble. There was no place he was going to go. Boy, Caleb has really got to play smart now. He's got two fouls already. Kumler goes baseline left. Out to Snyder. He drives baseline. Cut off by Caleb. They dump it back out to Steiner, left wing. Steiner with it, tries to go, does get it to Snyder. Now out top of the key, Kumler pulls up from 17, missed the shot, Young with the rebound, away from the ball. We first quarter, Barry's tied at three. The big story here, though, Caleb Springer already has two fouls. Jason Young on the dribble against the zone. Hits Caleb right baseline, they double-team him. Skip pass out to Danley, left wing. Now to Matt Williams, top of the key for three, hit it! Wow! Well, he can shoot, he's a spot-up shooter. And with that Kokomo zone, they found him, and I'll give him credit. He wasn't shy about taking it. Barry's lead at 6-3. To the front court comes Snyder of Kokomo. Bounce pass right side, McCauley. Lob it in traffic. Brady had his hands on it, couldn't control it. Out of bounds to Logan. That'll open it up, and good for Matt Williams to get some confidence that he can play here. Young on the dribble, down deep. He goes in the right corner against the zone. Looks, hits Matt Williams, open top of the key for three. In and out this time. Rebound pulled out of there by Brady of Kokomo. Up it comes to Snyder, quickly to Kugler, goes baseline with the pass to Snyder, whipped around Springer and put it home. Jason Snyder has three, and it's 6-5, buries by one. In the early going here at the ball. Jason Young, front court on the dribble, lob the pass, cross court, right corner, Williams for three again, hit it! He's just taking Eric Miller's roll if they're going to leave him open. The sophomore is nailed two. The Berries have all nine points from beyond the arc, and they lead it 9-5. And now the Berry shift into the 1-3-1 for the first time tonight. Steiner goes right side to McCauley, lob it back to Troy Steiner. He looks, one dribble, pulls up left wing, skips it back right side, McCauley. McCauley looks and looks, lobs it back left side, they go down in the corner to Kumler. He looks back out to Steiner, dribbles to the left wing in the corner, Kumler open for three, missed it front of the iron, Springer rebound. Berry's got a three on three, Springer pulls up, free throw line, fires and missed it. Off the iron, and it wouldn't go down. Rebound Snyder for Kokomo. Up to Steiner. Steiner reverses his dribble. Double teamed out there. Goes left wing to Kumler. Feeds it cross court. McCauley open for three. Hit it. Ryan McCauley with five, and it's 9-8. Barry's lead cut to one with 4.05 to go in the first quarter. To the front court comes Jason Young on the dribble. Down in the left corner goes Jason. Back out on the wing. Dumps it right or left baseline to Buzz Miller. Now to Young, now to Daly between the circles. To Matt Williams, right wing for three, in and out. Boy, it was on target. It just didn't go down. Kokomo clears the board as Brady gets it out to Steiner. Steiner, front court on the dribble, right key. Goes to McCauley, steps in, lobs it in traffic. Loose, Snyder picked it up, and he's fouled from behind by Buzz Miller. That'll be Snyder's free throw on the way is good. And we're tied at not there goes their senior. Jason Snyder, free throw on the way, hit them both, and Kokomo has regained the lead 10-9. They'll put some pressure on in the backcourt. Jason Young breaks ahead to Matt Williams. Boy, he had some numbers, but he pulled up the dribble. Now gives it back to Jason Young. Kokomo, after some pressure, falls into the zone. Young dribbles all the way down in the right corner. Out to Matt Williams. Skip pass left side. Danley lost it, got it back, fell down, and got fouled. Got a break there. Steve Vanden. Maybe he won't be because he'll be afraid of picking up one of those fouls. Jason Young on the inbounds, out near the Felix on the court. Dribbling around, trying to set things up against the zone. Now he starts to dribble to the right wing, out to Caleb, top of the key. He used a screen, tough three-point shot by him off the back of the iron, no. He forced that one, and Jason Snyder clears the ball for Kokomo. Out it comes to Troy Steiner. Steiner against the 1-3, comes left side, Coomer down in the corner, McCauley open for three, hit it again. He has eight, and Kokomo's biggest lead at 13-9. Jason Young to the front court so far. It's been a three-point barrage by both teams. 2.45 left. Young to Williams, right of the key, back to Young. Young back to Williams. Now to Danley, left wing. Back to Williams. Open now Young, right wing. Hillcocker for three, in and out. Rebound Caleb Springer in traffic and had it stolen away. They're called jump ball, and the alternate possession will go to the four threes. Buzz Miller to inbound. It couldn't, and he calls timeout. 2.30 for five and a half minutes beyond that arc, JT. Yeah, we haven't even challenged him really inside. 
So Jason Young inbounds it in traffic to Caleb, put up the tough shot in traffic and got it down. What a shot. He was, looked like he might have got a little body on him. Still was able to muscle it up and in. 13-11, Barry's cut it to two and they go right back into that 1-3-1. One, one. Hayes on the top of it, guarding Steiner tightly. He'll lob it back right side to McCauley. McCauley goes back to Steiner, steps in the lane, back to McCauley, fakes the three, steps in, nice dump down to Brady who put it in. Matt Brady's first two, Kokomo again by 4, 15, 11. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Jason Young will walk it up, now comes down to the left wing, on the dribble, cross court pass stolen away. Boy, he tried to get it into Caleb. He's just surrounded by Kokomo players. Steiner the other way. Out to J.D. Moore came into the first time of the night. Off to Steiner, right of the key for three. Bang the back of the iron, no good. Caleb Stringer, a strong rebound out of there for the Berries. They push it ahead to Eric Miller, who's into the game. Back to Jason Young. Young between the circles, works with it. Berries down by four. Young on the dribble, comes all the way around the arc to the right side. Now they whip it back left to Miller. Miller goes to Buzz Miller on the baseline. Now to Eric, out to Hayes, top of the key. Right side, Jason Young. He goes baseline, double team. Now Caleb comes out, goes to Young in the right corner. Young off a pick from Caleb and brings it all the way back out near the timeline. The Berries will reload it. Now to Hayes. Hayes out to Caleb Springer, right of the key. He looks, goes right corner to Young. Young comes off a screen, tried to feed it to Hayes. They throw it away again. A couple of turnovers in a row by the Berries. Steiner to the front court, double team, leads it ahead, right corner, McCauley open for another three, missed this one, rebound, Springer couldn't control it. Out of bounds, it'll be Kokomo. Kevin Spangler will come in for the first time, and he's not one of their original guys normally off the bench, but Spangler is in, 6'5", senior, and another wide body. They got a lot of good-looking sized kids. Bramstetter has come in, Caleb Springer goes out. Inbounds comes to Steiner for Kokomo. In the corner, McCauley open for three. Hit again. Brian McCauley has rung the bell three times from the arc. It's 18 to 11. Kokomo now by seven. Jason Young to the front court. Cross court pass, Eric Miller right corner. Out to Hayes, now to Young. Left wing, he'll fire for three, short. Rebound on the floor to Hayes. Back to Young, he'll cock another one for three. It hits this one. Well, we keep firing them. And Young answers McCauley back. It's 18-14 with 25 seconds to go. First quarter in the Berries, down by four. Steiner to McCauley. And he'll hold the ball back to Steiner with 15 seconds. Berries sagging down into a zone right now with 10. They go to Moore. Moore, left wing, back to Steiner. Steiner dribbles right of the key. They dump it to McCauley, left corner, open for three again, hit again. Boy, you cannot let that guy open. He just burned the Berries in the first quarter after one period of play it is coca is that only a two yeah. knocked around and finally controlled by broad ripple those of had it but james bobbled and then lost it here's the pint-sized guard dante robinson really won the state championship with a 5-5 guard by the name of king duke what a great name and he was a good little ball player here's little dante robinson bouncing cantrell he's a good shooter he banks one up from the left side that went in and out and the rebound taken down by kokomo bobby just threw the ball away but gains controls he lost the handle looks to be a slick basketball Terry circling around, stopping top of the key. Double team, left base, then they go to Gaines. Gaines hooks it long, cross court, the big lead. Coomer's on a baseline drive, will stop and have a shot rejected. Inside to Bobby. Bobby bounces cross court. McCauley steps up and bombs a three on it. Oh, when he gets his feet set like that and has a good look at the basket, he's deadly. And McCauley nails a three-pointer from the left side. Kokomo leads and pressing with the basketball in the backcourt. Here's a long down court pass to Robinson. Robinson down with a four-court left side for Broad Ripple to Cantrell. On the right side, they go to Sam Brown. Brown, back to the point to Robinson. Swing it to Cantrell. Welcome on the denial. Lobs a pass. Knocked away ball. That's listening on Kerry Bobby. They uh, lobby had Jeff very patient on their offense, and now here Broad Ripple being pretty patient on their half-court offense. Two shots for Perrin. First free throw is in the air. No good for opponents in the first half of ball games. Aaron for one more. Oh, wow. His teammate twice just fell in the lane too soon. And oh, that'll take it. So it's Kokomo basketball. There's a three-quarter court trapping press by Broad Ripple. Gaines to Bobby in the backcourt. Carried long down the floor to McCauley. Brian one dribble, pulls up, fires and banks it up and in. McCauley high off the glass and in from 10 feet out. Five to nothing, Kokomo. 
Here's Sam Brown with the ball in the backcourt. Clears now to Cantrell. Kokomo pressing. Cantrell up the floor to Robinson. Cross court to Brown. Brown long down the court. Perrin inside life is good. Broad Ripple beats the press, and then Perrin got inside to score. Five to two. Broad Ripple pressing. Here's Michael Gaines. Looks a pass to Kubler. Lee closes in. Will stop and fire and will miss. Rebound Brady inside. Back up. Good. That Brady will put back inside. Seven to two. Kokomo. 5.55 to play. Here's a long down court pass. Perrin is wide open. Goes all the way and dunks went up and in. Then Perrin with a slam dunk for Broad Ripple. Nobody back defensively for the cast, and he got the easy one. Gaines inbounds Brady. Knocked away. Stolen by Cantrell. Right base on the go. Jump shot. Robinson's rimming no good. Price with a rebound back up. Getting five for McCarley and two for Brady. Four points for Broad Ripple coming from Perrin. First free throw. Rimming good. Next one is up. That's no good. And Brady with a rebound. Brady in traffic, clears to Gaines. Gaines quickly up the floor with a lead pass to Coomer. Coomer's at a baseline drive. Coomer lops it out on top, head of the circle to Malby. Malby left side to McCauley. McCauley has picked the dribble up. Brian then side to go to Coomer. Fakes, drives, and he got a man up in the air. Coomer wanted that ball right underneath the basket. Malby right side, I uh, uh, should say, McCauley is open. And Bob's home another three. They set that up well for Brian McCauley on the out of bounds. Wide open right wing, and he hits another three. So McCauley with eight first quarter points. Kokomo pressing with the basketball. The little guy, Robinson, away from trouble. Robinson closes in. Left side, Perrin, good shooter. Fires and misses from 12. Clive, here's the inbound going from Gaines to McCauley. Now back to Bobby. Bobby with uh, some full court pressure, stirring him in the face. Drops it off to Gaines. Gaines takes the dribble up to Bobby. Going to have to hurry. They just do beat the 10. Down court to McCauley. O'Brien was open. Instead goes to Kuma. Baseline drive. Lee all the way. Shot up and in. I'll say what, he has got some terrific baseline moves. 12 to 5, Kokomo long down the floor. Perrin, nice catch, foul line. Perrin shovels left side, Cantrell bombs up a three. That's no good. Wild shot. McCauley rebounds. McCauley for the Wildcats. Right across the timeline, splits a couple of defenders. And got Gaines will inbound far sidelines. Plays it between the circles to Bobby. Bobby on the left wing to McCauley. McCauley back to the point to Bobby. Carey starts to drive out of McCauley. McCauley to Farrell. Cross court right side, Gaines. Gaines double team to the point to Bobby. Bounces right baseline. There goes Coomer again with a left hand wild shot. No good as he overshot the basket. Rebound taken on by Perrin to Cantrell. Log down before they go down to Robinson. Back to the trailer, Cantrell to Robinson. Cantrell, top of the key. Return pass. Robinson puts up a three that's rimming no good. And the rebound taken down by Farrell. Farrell to Bobby. Bobby, long down before they go to McCauley. Cauley closes in left side. Brian will stop. Go cross court to Gaines. Gaines is on a drive. He drops it off and just threw the ball. Who did they say was? Mark Lytle or something. Yeah. But, uh, here's uh, Broad Ripple with a basketball. They've got about 20 players on their program, and he is not one, unfortunately. And here's a steal now as McCauley just came up with a loose ball to Malby. Carry down the near sidelines to Coomer. Low post. They go to Farrell. Eric has the ball stripped loose and stolen. Good quickness there by Broad Ripple is uh, coming up with the uh, basketball that time with Sam Brown. And Brown has it now four court right side for the Rockets. Brown going to Cantrell. Left baseline to that new man of the, new man of the Wildcats by 7 to 12 to 5. Bobby double teamed to Gaines. Gaines with some open floor. Michael across the timeline. Jumping off to McCauley for another three. That's no good this time. And a long rebound is loose. Controlled by Gaines. It's Michael plays it to Bobby. Carey double teamed at the point, jumps it to McCauley. Back to the point to Malby, reverse it right side to Gaines. Gaines to Malby. Malby dribbling around looking, still looking. Finally now to McCauley. To Malby, little penetration. Now Carey drives to the foul line. In trouble, kick it back to Gaines. Cross court, they go to McCauley. Bryant's in a baseline drive, will stop, lean in, shoot went up, good. Basket counts in the air and good. He's got 11 first quarter points. 15 to 5, Kokomo. Cats are pressing. Here's a near steal. And that uh, man will dish it off. Cantrell just missed a layup and a battle for the rebound. Herman Fowler's got it. Lee pass. Lee Coomer. Lee drives, stops, fires, missed it. Rebound. Farrell back up. Good! Eric Farrell with a put back inside. 17 to 5. Cantrell for Broad Ripple. Up before the go to. Love, he's going to fire up a runner that's rimming no good. And the rebound, we got a whistle, take the ball out of bounds. Here's a pass, that's intercepted, Gaines picked it up. Michael races down the floor, Gaines all the way, driving life is good. Oh, when he gets the ball, ball the, in the open court, he's an exciting player. It's a steal by Coomer, but now uh, Broad Ripple gets it back. Pokemon 19-5 with 155 to play in the first quarter. Cantrell up the floor now. Cantrell sends a pass to Brookins, not a Cantrell. To Brookins, Cantrell, 
Outside they go to Brown, to Cantrell, now to Brookins. Back around, back to Cantrell. He's going to bomb up a long three, way off the mark. Rebound, Bobby. Gary races down the floor, has the ball batted loose from behind. Goes out of her to Bobby. Bobby double team, jumps it out front to Coomer. Coomer's open, Lee bombs up a three, got it. Three-pointer Lee Coomer, the Wildcats third, three in the first quarter. 22-5 Kokomo, 120 to play in the first. Twice for the basketball, drop it back to Cantrell. Cantrell across the tie line with a pass to Sam Brown. On the right side, they go to Love. Love back to Cantrell, my goodness, about a 30-footer. That's way off the mark, no good. Coomer rebounds. Coomer across the timeline. Coomer with some nifty dribbling. Lee drives, dish up. Michael Gaines is open, jump shot, no good. Gaines got his own rebound, wheels inside, stops and fires and misses. Looked to shoot much last night, but has uh, been aggressive so far. First free throw, no good. And Kokomo in front of Indianapolis, broad ripple. Gaines the second one, that's no good. And the rebound is uh, taken down inside by Ragnshawn Love. So broad ripple with the ball, Love. Full court right side to Brown, to Love. Swing it past to Cantrell, out of Brookins. Cross court right side to Love. Back to Brookins at the head of the key. Out of Love, 39 to play. Brookins, Cantrell, low post, they go to Price. Short jump shot, good. Nice move by the big 6-7 Charles Price. Going inside for Broad Ripple, 22-7. Gains inbounds to Bobby. Bobby throws it down the floor and knocked away, but controlled by Dustin Sheila in the ball game to Michael Gaines. Gaines in the front court, out front to Bobby with 18. Kokomo spreads open the floor, holding for one. Gaines dribbling around now with uh, 13 seconds to Sheline. Sheline to Bobby with 10. Kokomo by 15. Bobby picks the dribble up, gets it down low to Farrell. Eric's going to drive and just got by Brown. Brown lets fly with a high archer. That is two. It almost went in. But call the inbounds to Gaines. Also Brady, Coomer, and Fowler on the floor. Michael across the timeline. Gaines going down to McCauley to Gaines. Gaines looking, clears to McCauley. McCauley hooks it. Inside, all the way, shot up, good! Oh, what a start for Kokomo! Gaines comes up with a loose ball and takes it in and scores. And the Wildcats lead 2 nothing. Kokomo in the 2-3 zone. That circles around now to Ewer. He's the best long-range shooter. McCain takes the three. I'd give him that shot all night. Now to Ewer, top of the key. Ewer gets the screen, drive, stops, dish off left side to Betts. Betts in the standing dribble. Top of the key to Ewer. Bombs up a long three. No good. And the long rebound goes out of bounds. Gaines far sidelines will play it inbounds to carrying Bobby. Bobby up the floor. Marion falls back into the matchup zone. Betts is at the top of that zone. He's lightning quick on the right side to Gaines. Gaines with the ball now outside. They go to Bobby. Bobby, as they run McCauley through the zone, go on the lane. Coomer, turn up, block. Oh, Jackson with a block, but it goes right to Gaines in the right wing. Outside to Bobby. Bobby, low post, try to get six three, but he's got the uh, springs in his legs. Here's McCauley with the ball on the left wing, picked up by McCain. Now it goes down to Bobby. The match up zone. It's got uh, man to man and zone uh, concepts. McCauley open, bounds up a little good. Three pointer by McCauley for the right side. They set that up perfectly. McCauley behind his screen, bombs home a 20 footer. And Coco will score the first five of the ball game. That's to the forecourt, right side to Jackson off the baseline, now to Betts. Top of the key, they go to Ewer, hook went in the lane, McCain, fade away, jumper, no good. Tipped up, no good. Jackson will inbound, baseline left, Jackson looking, plays to Ewer. Ewer starts to drive, Ewer in the lane, stops and fires and will miss. Shooter on the season, team's second leading score, he averages 15 points per ball game by the year, and his first free throw is up, and he's got to play him even. One more for Ewer, next one up and good. So a couple of free throws hit by Matt Ewer to make it a 5-2 ball game. Marion not pressing early, but we may see the Giants going into some full-court pressures as ball game goes along tonight. Bobby down the middle of the floor. Carey calls out the play. It all knocked away and stolen by Ewer. Two on one with Betts. Ewer inside. Andre all the way. Life good. Oh, is he quick. Andre Betts just flies to the basket and scores off the Ewer assist. Makes it now a 5-4 ball game. Bobby lost the handle of the ball, trying to go near sidelines to Gaines. Carey across the timeline, heading right side of the dribble. Will stop on the wing, go to McCauley for another long three. Good! Try McCauley with another bounce from outside. 21 feet out. 8-4, to four, Kokomo by four. Six minutes to play, first quarter. Betts down the middle of the floor. Andre across the timeline. Dish off to Jackson, right side, quarter court. Jackson to Betts off the right baseline. Betts, now to Ewer, fakes the three. Coming up by Bobby. Puts it on the floor a couple of times to the left hand. Ewer picks the dribble off looking. Clears to Betts to the right wing. Betts back to Ewer, bombs up a long three. That's no good. And the rebound taken down by McCauley. McCauley collides with Bobby. Comes away with the ball to Gaines. Gaines across the timeline. Near sidelines, Kokomo stops. Back to the trailer, Bobby. Curls to the top of the key. Dish off of the right wing to Coomer. Coomer, low post, Steve will go to Brady and just threw the ball away. The element. 
Betts will change hands in a dribble. Andre across the timeline, heading over to the far sideline. Deep right corner to Jackson, now to Betts. Betts, dish off to Ewer on the left side. Ewer, now to McCain. Jody bounds up with three. Wild shot, no good. Oh, look at Jackson get up. Jackson, dish off to McCain, off the baseline. Puts up a short jumper. That's a no good. Rebound, Brady. Barry Mobby for the Kokomo Wildcats. Walks the dribble up across the sideline, sends a pass to Michael Gaines to the right side, to Bobby now, to McCauley out high on the left side in the lane, they go to Brady, dish off to Gaines, Gaines starts to close in and just walk with a punch. Andre Betts for Marion, dribbles it up across the timeline. A rare first quarter timeout from a veteran Marion coach, Bill Green, Jackson to Ewer. Let's see the set play in the lane. They go to McCain for a fadeaway. That's no good. And the rebound taken down by Mobby. So McCain throwing up blanks from the outside. Now to Kubler. And we got a whistle and Legion. A couple of threes and Michael Gaines with an early basket. That's in the forecourt left side to Ewer. Ewer holding high. Looking over that wildcat zone. Now to McCain. Herman Fowler's in the Kokomo lineup. McCain starts to drive. Cut up. Goes to Ewer. Ewer dish off to Betts. Now back quickly to Ewer. Ewer holding high. Looking. Swings a pass to McCain on the left side. McCain. Drive, stops, and threw it inside. Jackson shot up. No, Brady rebounds and lost it. And now Fowler controls to Mobby. Mobby long down the floor to McCauley. McCauley dish off to Mobby. Carey reverse spinning, top of the key looking. Bounces it low post now to Fowler. Back to McCauley, just threw the ball. He's seven to play in the first quarter. Eight to four, Kokomo. That's for the Giants across the timeline. Morsi for Kokomo. Marin is that trouble against the Wildcats. A 2-3 zone. That's the Ewer. Now to Betts between the circles. That's just over right side of the dribble. Andre still on the dribble. Very little movement. Here's a pass to Ewer. In the lane they go to McCain. Hook it to Betts. His, his corner jump shot. That's no good. Long rebound. McCauley's got it. Oh, he missed Coomer streaking down the floor. Brian brings it up himself. Now McCauley will stop. Go to Bobby. Bobby return pass to McCauley. Another long one. Good! Third play in the first quarter by Brian McCauley. 11 to 4. Kokomo leads by 7. Oh, how they can leave McCauley wide open like that. That's got Bill Green up for just amazement. McCauley's hit three straight threes in the Wildcats. Lead by 7. 3.05 to play in the first. Here's Ewer on a drive. Ewer cut off looking. Goes to Jackson. In the lane to McCain. We got a whistle. Wildcats is the Jackson will inbound to Keller. Threw it away. Pass picked off by Moby. Here he races down the floor. Closes in and opens up and he shoots and scores. Wow. His uh, defender, uh, defensive man fell off of Moby and Carey took it right in all the way and scores to make it a 13 to 4 ball game. Kokomo by 9. That's the Ewer. Takes the 3. Drives. Stops. Fires up a long one. That's no good. And the rebound is taken down by Moby. Carey jumps it to Coomer. Coomer back to Bobby. Kokomo the ball leading by nine to McCauley. McCauley in the court right side. Now to Bobby. Left side to Coomer. Oh, a score here will bring the roof down to Coomer. Right side to McCauley. Takes the three. Closes in. Leans in. Shoots it up. No good. We got a whistle to try. Don't know what to do with this wide open shot. Very in basketball. Sophomore point guard Andre Betts on the dribble across the timeline. Betts out high right side to Jackson. Jackson long cross court to Betts. This tempo really favors Kokomo. Inside Jackson for the short jump shot. Good. Jackson on a flash cut in the lane. Hit the, the high arching 10-footer. Makes it 13 to 6. Marion putting down some mild pressure in the backcourt. Bobby front court to McCauley. McCauley looking. There's it to Bobby. Bobby now to Coomer. Coomer out front. Coomer dish off to McCauley. Left wing back to Coomer. Coomer's been held scoreless so far. Lee is a ball strip loose by Andre Betts. Ball rolls free. It's going to be picked up by Ewer inside. Turning, wheeling, shooting, and scoring. Nice move inside by Matt Ewer. Basil Bobby thought he walked. No call. 13-8. Marion Claus back to within five. Kokomo led by nine moments ago. 135 to play first quarter. Turnovers are just killing Kokomo. Here's Bobby out high right side to McCauley. McCauley to Coomer. He drives, stops, fires it up. That's wild shot. Fowler rebounds back up. Block, rebound back up. Farrell no good. Marion basketball is Andre Betts for the Giants. Brings the ball for four across the timeline. Davy and Jackson out high on the right side. Right baseline inside to McCain, and we got a whistle. Jody just walked. Matt Brady on the Wildcat bench with two early fouls. Carey Mobby across the timeline. Kokomo spreads open the floor a bit. Not in their total delay game. Here's Mobby, bounces in the lane. Herman, fadeaway jump shot. No good. Bill keeps alive, but McCain with a rebound. Jody brings it out of the pack now and holds and clears to Betts with 53. Andre across the timeline. Kokomo by five. Marion with the ball. Betts out high. Right back quarter court to Damian Jackson. Jackson, top of the circle now to Ewer. Fakes the three. Coming up by Gaines. Ewer hooks the pass now. Jackson's on a baseline drive. Cut off by McCauley. Back to Ewer. Ewer bobbles the ball. Retrieves. Ewer starts to bring it in. Right side now to Betts. 33 seconds to play. Betts right side to Ewer. 
Barry being very patient. You are looking inside, starts to drive, now to Bent. Left base, and they go to Bolden. He'll bomb up from the corner. That hit high off the glass. And now finally a violation as the ball goes. I'll be very slowly bringing the ball up the floor. Very across the timeline with 13. Now to Gaines with 10. It'll wide open. Michael starts to drive, closes in, will drop it off to Bobby, puts up a jumper blocked by Jackson. Farrell rebounds back up, blocked by McCain. Farrell rebounds inside to McCauley. The fun points on that last trip down the floor as uh, Matt Brady, or I should say Lee Coomer, scoring four and Herman Fowler with the final basket. So for the fourth quarter we go now. Logan Sport with the basketball. Barry's with their opening possession. Williams bounces to Danley. Danley looking now to Williams. Williams swings a pass to Coon on the right side. Coon dribbling around looking. Finally clears it back to Williams. Now to Coon. Right face finally go to Buzz Miller. Miller to Williams. Williams top of the key now as they throw the ball around. Right side to Miller. Logan Hughes nearly a minute of, off the clock on their first possession. Down by eight. Now Caleb Springer's got the ball. Springer, Danley, swinging around to Coon. Haven't gotten the ball within 20 feet of the basket as of yet. Springer spinning right side looking. Bounces it right baseline to Miller. Now back to Springer in traffic. His short jump shot is good. Oh, great inside move by Hanna. And a tough shot that was too, Greg, over a double team. Gary Mulby across the timeline. Mulby down the middle of the floor. Carey stops. McCauley open jump shot is good. Basket count. Down to Coon. Coon now back to Miller. Kokomo pressing. Wildcats by 8, 37 to 29. Miller long down the floor. They go now with a pass to Daly. Daly across the timeline. Daly dish off to Springer. Caleb, another short jump shot. Rimming good. So two more for Caleb Springer as he rolls home a 10 foot jump shot for the right side. 37 to 31. Six point Kokomo lead. 6.25 to play in the ball game. Bobby across the timeline. Bobby looks. Finally goes to McCauley. McCauley way outside. Push past the Kuma. Lee bombs up a long three. Good! Oh, a long three-pointer left side. Lee Kuma, he's got 13. And Kokomo leads by nine. 40-31. Williams across the timeline. William the Springer. Caleb Blood with good! Oh, my Caleb Springer starting to warm up now. He's at three in a row. 40-34, Kokomo by six. Six minutes left of the ball game. Bobby across the timeline. Left side to Coomer. Coomer now back to Bobby. Bobby dribbles around at the point, looking. Still looking. Finally clears to McCauley. McCauley swings down the lane. Will stop and fire. Good! McCauley with a pull-up 10-foot jump shot inside. Here's the Coon with the basketball. Oh, the offense is starting to heat up now. Coon dribbles up the floor across the timeline. Eight-point Kokomo lead. Five and a half minutes left in the ball game. Coon with the basketball. Dish off to Springer. Springer starts to close in. We've got a whistle to Lindon. Here goes Caleb. Springer bobbled the ball. He had another shot coming up to Williams. Away it goes to Coon. 5.20 left in the ball game. Kokomo leads by 8. 42-34. Logan scored with the ball. They work it around right side to Daly. To the point to Coon. Now to Springer. Springer isolated on McCauley, starts to drive, cut off, looking cross court to Coon. Coon dribbles around. Coon long cross court pass left side to Williams. Now to Daly. Back to Williams. To Daly. Five minutes left to Coon. He's going to launch a rare shot and miss from 20. Rebound Herman Fowler. Herman looking, gets it away to Bobby. Kokomo looking to push it up the floor. Carry across the timeline with 4.50 to play. Bobby drives to McCauley. Brian three pointer. Goal! Brian McCauley, oh, they're going to roll the two-pointer, but a long one by McCauley, 42-44-34, Kokomo by 10, as McCauley has hit some big shots, and now reaching, well, still plenty of time left in the ball game. four and a half minutes to play now, as Coon has a basketball across the timeline for the Berries, he shovels in the right side to Daly, Daly holding high to Coon, now to Springer, Caleb's hit last three shots in a row to Matt Williams, he's uh, shot well from outside, now to Daly, bounce it to Coon, Coon inside the go, now quick move, Here's a lob pass coming in bounds to Daly at the top of the key. Now to Williams. Williams to Daly. Daly to Williams on the right side. Now back to Daly. 4-10 to play. Hook a pass left side to Coon. Coon dish off left baseline to Buzz Miller. Shovel to Coon. Whip it cross court to Williams. Nice catch along the sidelines. Back to Daly. Return pass to Williams. Stomps up a long one. No good. And the rebound. Miller's free throw is up and good. Next one in the air. No good. And the rebound taken down by Eric Farrell. Now goes to Kerry Mulvey. Kerry across the timeline. It looks like the Wildcats are going to spread over the floor now. Kerry's on a drive, cut off looking. He's in all kinds of trouble, finally gets it to Fowler. 
Terminal on the baseline, got an opening, drops it to Farrell inside, shot up, block, rebound Farrell, back up, no, rebound Farrell. The nice shot. Farrell at the line for the one and one, free throw is good. Free throw off, no good. Points in tonight's game. Lee's first foul shot is up and good. Lee's next one in the air, good. So here we go, back to the action. Logan Ball, the Berries find themselves down by 12 now with three and a half to play. Coon front court, right side. Long cross court pass to Williams. Williams looking out of Springer. Caleb. Kicks it back to Williams, down front to Coon. Swing it around right side now to Daly. Off the baseline to Springer, to Daly. Now back to Springer with Coomer draped all over him. He gets the shot away, good! Oh, what a shot that was by Caleb Springer. Lee Coomer was all over him, and he just, with a quick release, straightened up and fired home a 24-footer. Springer with 10 fourth-quarter points, 40. McCauley with 14, make it fifth. McCauley's next one, no good, and the rebound takes it down. Springer knocked away, Fowler's sitting in the fourth quarter, two threes and two twos. Two down the middle of the floor, across the timeline. Well, they got to find a way to get in the ball. McCauley knocks it away, but Sullivan controls. Now outside to Coon. Coon starts to penetrate. Looping pass right side, Williams. Now to Lucas off the baseline. Lucas to Springer. Springer's got the ball, starts to drive, leans in, fires up a long one, no good. He got his own rebound. Caleb back up, no good. Springer goes down. McCauley inbounds to Bobby. Jerry Bobby up the floor for the Wildcats. Across the timeline with 2.25 to play. Out high left side to go to Coomer. Coomer dribbling around that middle is wide open. Coomer's going to penetrate the lane. He'll stop inside, lose the ball, get it back. Has a shot rejected, got his own rebound. Coomer inside, Brady, layup, nope. Brady's first one in the air and good. Brady's next one in the air and good. 10 left in the ball game. Williams across the timeline for the Berries. Williams bounces right side to Coon. Coon dribbling around looking. Still looking, finally goes to Lucas, now to Williams. Williams bounces left side, Caleb. Well, one Springer, good again. Another three hit by Caleb Springer. 13 fourth quarter points, single-handedly keeping Logan in this one. 49 to 41, Kokomo by eight, 145 to play. Springer's quite a player, McCauley drives, Ryan stops, by good! Oh, I don't know if Basil wanted that shot, and off balance, 15 foot of the McCauley, ripped home for the foul line. 51-41, Kokomo by 10, 135 left in the ball game. McCauley's had a huge fourth quarter. Here's Williams to Coon. Oh, you gotta get the ball to Springer. Caleb's got it now, about 25 for the bucket. He starts to drive, spins, jumps across court to Coon. Coon will launch a jumper blocked by McCauley. Coon got the 21 in the ball game, and Brian McCauley with nine fourth quarter point shot. McCauley's next one good. Before, because uh, McCauley will inbound. Um, the final score may look one-sided, but I'll tell you what, it was anything but that tonight. It was quite a struggle. Two more across the timeline. Multiple mistakes. Bobby's new. Gary's next one. That's better. Up and in. Well, makes it now a 56-41 ball game. Matt Williams will bring up the ball up the floor now for Logan. Crosses the timeline. Sends a pass to the right side to Danley. Danley now to Springer. Springer swings the pass to Williams, takes the three, starts the drive, launches a long one, that's no good. Rebound, tip free, who's got it loose on the floor? They tip it ahead to Bobby Carey's got a breakaway, gonna go all the way in, shot up, block from behind, and the rebound taken down by Springer. Nice hustle by Dainley. Springer across the timeline, Springer triple team, sends a pass to Barry, he fires and will hit a baseline 12 foot jump shot. So Lansley able to run the baseline, following the May basket, plays it inbounds to Coomer. Coomer up the floor. Lee's, he stepped up. Coomer for two, Lee's free throw is no good. Right, next yes. one in the air, that's no good, and the rebound taken down by Barry. Now the pass goes now to Williams with 30. Williams across the timeline to Springer. Springer looking for a shot, will stop and drop it off on the left side. Sullivan launches a long one, that's an air ball, no good. Coomer with a rebound. Coomer for the kind of six. Matching Caleb Springer's 13 here in the fourth quarter. One more foul shot for Coomer, Lee's next one is good. But Coomer hit with 20 seconds to play. Kokomo leading by 15. With the basketball, Williams will touch and bring it up across the timeline. Williams to Springer. Springer about a 40-footer. No good air ball. He's inbounds to Kenny. Kenny up the floor. Long lead bounce pass to Sheehan. it to the front court, moving right to left. Center of the floor, top of the key. High right side with it is Adam. Back to the top for Workin' Team. 
He swings it right side to Allen. Andy looking in for Big Lou against the zone. Out top for Ian. Swings it left corner to Hoover Mayo. Back to the top for Workington. Right wing, Allen. Down low to Lewis. He was fouled. No whistle. Out to the top. Here's Workington. Deep left corner to Casey. Drives the baseline. Leaves it for Ian. He dumps it right wing to Allen. Back behind the arc. Half minute gone by. Lebanon has not had a clean look at the bucket yet. Kokomo in a very active 2-3 zone. High right side is Allen, top of the key, working team. They swing it left wing to Casey, thought about a three, left it low for Lewis, back outside to Allen, down low in the block to Denger, out to Allen, 15 footer is short, but Hoover Mayo has the weak side rebound of the baseline. He has it poked away by Michael Gaines, loose ball bound to go, opening period, no score. Inbounds comes to Casey, deep left hand corner, out to the top for working team. Working team, out between the circles to Allen, left wing for Hoover Mayo. Down to the top for Andy, down low in the lob to Denger, ball poked away, Jeff Got it back, squeezes between two defenders and throws in the right hand. Oh, what a move between two defenders underneath and Lebanon's drawn first one at 2 nothing. Denger wrote that one in, Joe. Very tough shot to make. Here come the Wildcats. Mobby on top. He'll watch a three in and out. No. And Big Lou has the rebound. He averages 10 boards a game. That's his first tonight. He clears him backcourt to Workington, who slides it across the timeline. High right to Allen. Now left side is Hoover Mail. He wants Lewis and can't get him. Right wing is Allen. Down to the baseline to Denger. Square shoots in and out. No. No from anywhere in Pineville. That is Pearson Ford. Casey first, the team's first. 6-17 to go in the opening period. Lebanon leading 2-0. Kokomo with the ball for the second time as Kerry Mobby brings it across the timeline unmolested with a belt high right hand dribble. Right wing to Gaines. Deep right hand corner with it is Brady. Back out to the top with it. This is McCauley. Leans in from 16 and buries it over Ian Workentine. Workentine was bobbing him around the free throw line. Mobby able to hit the jumper. Now Kokomo goes to the 2-2-1 zone press. Allen having trouble with it. Now gets it across the timeline. Drives it to the foul line. Lost it. Got it back. Puts it in the left baseline to Lewis. Goes up from five feet and throws in the right hand. Good recognition by Andy Allen that time to find Big Lou underneath. Yeah, he didn't have much. He may have gotten away with the double dribble, Joe, but he was able to get it to Lewis. Four to two, eleven and five and a half to play opening period. High left side is Mobby. Top of the circle is Gaines. Now to Kumler, left of the key at the foul line. 15 footer rolls out. Rebound volleyball tap to the wing and picked up by McCauley. Out to the top for Kumler. They played very well. First time we've seen pressure by Kokomo. Inbounds comes to Workentine deep in the backcourt. Bounces right side to Hoover Mail and brings it across the timeline. Lobs it to Allen, right of the key. Had Denger open. Now finds Lewis, who goes to the glass for an easy two. Sean Lewis with four, and the Tigers lead six to two. All six points coming in the paint. Three minutes gone by first quarter. Lebanon off to a great start. They settle back in the zone as Michael Gaines handles right wing. Now they swing it high left side to McCauley, who marries the three. Brian McCauley, who averages 15 points a game, has five, and Kokomo has climbed to within a point. Here's Hoover Mail, top of the key, leads nice. it for Lewis. One stop to the baseline, and he lays it in. No look pass by Hoover Mail, throws the defense, Joe. Lewis has been unstoppable in the first quarter. He has six of his team's eight points, and the Tigers take a three-point lead with four and a half to play in the frame. Gaines with it, out to the top for Mobby. He slides it with the bounce to the wing. Top of the key is McCauley, down low on the give and go to Kubler, left the way up short, got his own rebound, missed the second attempt, just Denver battles for the rebound, and call 482, 94-21. Inbounds comes deep right hand corner to McCauley, and he buries the two point shot from the right hand corner. Ryan McCauley unstoppable for the Wildcats, he scored all seven of his team's points, and Lebanon's lead is cut to 8-7, right wing in the corner is Lewis, out to the top for Casey, right side to working team. Now between the rings, Hoover Mayo handles against the zone. Bounces right side to Ian, he throws up an air ball. Lewis is there to rebound, and he missed the putback, and the rebound full-time professionals. Remax Town and Country in Zionsville, 873, 6050, 260, South First Street in Zionsville. Right side with it is Michael Gaines, looking low to Brady, who's triple teamed away from the ball. McCauley has it, down low to commit a turnover. Tigers lead 8-7, they have the ball, 3.30 to go in the opening period. Kokomo goes to the press. Allen will handle him backcourt, quickly brings it across the timeline, kills the bounce, down oh, to Denver, he is hammered, and he'll go to. First one is up and good, two at the line, bends, fires, misses it hard off the back iron, rebound tapped out to Kumler. Denver one of two on that trip, the Tigers lead by a pair. 
Mobby, high left side with it to Kumler. Kumler working one-on-one with Workentine. Out to the top for Mobby. Now high left is Kumler. Wide open for a three. In and out. No good. And the rebound comes off to the right wing. This is McCauley with it. Gives it out top for Mobby. 14-footer in the lane is up and in. Terry Mobby, who averages three a game, has his first two. And we are tied at nine. Allen with it. Center of the floor to Warkentina. Brings it across the timeline. Left face line for Lewis. Out to the top. This is Hoovermail. Right side is Allen. He lobs it through Lewis. Banked it off. Kokomo ball following the timeout. And just before play starts, we have a substitution. No, they won't let him in. Dustin White had checked in. We thought he was going to get in before the ball went in play, but he'll have to wait till the next dead ball. Kokomo basketball front court right side. Top of the key is Mobby. High left with it is Kumler. Back across the top is... Mobby down low is Fowler and he lays it in. Herman Fowler, the 6'2 sophomore, with his first two points off the bench. And the Wildcats have their first lead at 11-9 with 2.15 to go in the opening frame. Hoover Mail, spin dribble to the foul line, leans in, 14 footer is good. 5 of 9 shooting now for the Tigers. Hoover Mail averages 12, that's his first basket, and we are tied at 11. Top of the key is Mobby, high right side with it is McCauley. McCauley has seven points for the Wildcats here in the first quarter. Now Mobby handles left of the key, swings it right side. This is Kumler with it. Kumler deep right-hand corner, skips it across the top to Mobby. Mobby one dribble, had a three, didn't take it. Down low to Brady. Nice to senior, averaging 8.7 points and four rebounds a game. Free throw. Now has three points. Second free throw is up and in. Fowler has four, two of two on that trip to the line. And the Wildcats are back up on top by two at 13-11 with 1.40 to go in the opening frame. High left side with it is Allen. Out to the top for Casey. They swing it right wing to White. Back to the top for Hoover Mail. Now Casey will bring the ball out near the timeline and they're going to pull the guards out high. But Lebanon's been able to bring the ball out high. They've stuck that Kokomo zone out above the foul line and have found Lewis and Denger down deep underneath. And now Lebanon's going to a spread. They have Allen, Hoover Mail, and White across the timeline, left to right. Denger baseline left, Lewis baseline right. Casey standing in the center jump circle, cradling the ball in his right hand. Clock down to a minute five. He's pulling the plump. And Kevin Tompkins, the sports editor from the Lebanon Reporter, just wrote me a note that this offense makes for great TV. Jim Shannon is going to the four corners. Clock inside, 50 seconds to play. No one has moved for the last 35 seconds. Google Mail's going to watch the clock. Kokomo content to allow Lebanon to stall. Clock down to a half minute to go. Casey will wait till it hits 15 and set the offense. Lebanon trails 13-11. Final 25 seconds of the opening period. And Jim's holding his hand up like a movie director waiting to cue the offense. There it goes. They want play number two, and here it goes. High left is Allen with 14 seconds. He'll send White through the lane. 10 seconds to go. Hoover Mayo flashes back to the timeline. Hoover Mayo with the ball on top. Five seconds to go. Casey leans in. Left wing. This is Allen. Catches. Shoots. Shot blocked. That's the end of the first quarter. Below the end of the first quarter or not. I doubt it. I have a feeling that Jim may have seen Casey getting a little tired and may have gone to that spread offense to save Casey a little bit because of the badly sprained right ankle. Inbounds comes from center court into the backcourt for Hoover Mailer. Brings it across the timeline. He gives it high right side to White. Out to the top for Allen. They swing it high left to Hoover Mail. Top of the key with it is White. Back to Casey. Casey slides his man off a Denger screen. Lee Shell gasoline for oil. The west side shell stay road 32 west to 965. Here come the Wildcats. Kumler with it on top. Gives it down inside to... Farrell, Farrell with it on the right block, catches, turns, shoots, it rims out, rebound tap to Reckon's gone by second quarter. Inbounds, left wing, Kumler, 15-footer, no, and the rebound comes down on the center of the lane to Allen. Allen across the timeline, right side, gives it up on the wing to White. Back between the circles with it is Allen, gives it up left side to Hoovermail. Hoovermail with it on top, they swing it through Allen to White to the right wing. White looking in against the 2-3 zone. Back to the top for Allen. Left side with it is Hoover Mail. Gets a step to the left baseline and kicks it back out front to Allen. Allen draws a trap. Kicks it high left to Casey. Back to the top for Allen. Right side is White. 
Hoover Mayo now with it. Off to the top to Allen. Lebanon having all kinds of trouble against the zone. Here's White for three. In and out. No. Rebound battle for the lane. 32 left. Eric Farrell checks out. Matt Brady, who started but did not score in the first quarter, checks back in. Here's McCauley with it on top against Hoover Mayo. Deep right-hand corner with it is Kumler. Back out high right side to McCauley. Drives it to the foul line. Leaves it left wing for Mobby. They force it down low. This is Fowler, and the jump hook is in and out. No good. And Justin White dies from nowhere to yank down the board. He sends it ahead left side of the front court to Hoover Mayo. Casey one on Lewis and can't get it. Now in the lane is Gentry. One dribble. He travels. 6.15 to go in the first half. Kokomo leading 13-11. That was our score at the end of one. Mobby now will stroll across the timeline, top of the circle. He travels. Come back court. Lobs a bounce pass into Hoover Mail. He'll bring it across the timeline, center of the floor. Looking left and right as he bops with a dribble between the legs. Now slides it right wing. Cupping the ball with a right hand dribble. Dumps a baseline right in the corner to White. Out to the top for Hoover Mail. Right back to Dustin. They want Big Lou. They have it. He's triple teamed. He bangs his way to the goal. Missed the shot. And Fowler has the rebound in the lane. Collins sends it ahead left side. This is Kumler. Lobs it right side to McCollin. Fake the three. Puts it on the floor. Throws up the jump hook. No good. And Hoover Mail with Zip Hokomo. His first, the team's second. Hoover Mail in backcourt. Brings it across the timeline against token pressure from Fowler. McCauley comes. We've gone 91, or excuse me, we've gone two and a half minutes without anyone scoring here in the second quarter. Both teams playing outstanding 2-3 zone defense. McCauley picks Hoover Mail's pocket, sails, untouched to the goal for an easy two. Yeah, Hoover Mail just laid off. And that next time down the floor, you need to be a little more careful with your passes. McCauley with nine of his team's 15 points. Hoover Mayo leans in from 13, missed the shot. Gentry battling in to go in the half. Allen to inbound, baseline right of the goal and backcourt. Gets it to Lewis on the right wing, back out front for Allen. He gives it up high left to White. Fake to three, dumps it low to Denger. 17-footer is off the mark of the rebound taken down by Gaines. Gaines quickly across the timeline. Left wing. This is Kumler. He misses the 17 footer. McCauley out rebounds Denger. McCauley on the baseline right. Throws it to Gaines out top. Gaines bobbing with a right hand dribble. Side saddle to the basket. Kills the bounce. Gives it up high right to McCauley on Hoover Mayo. McCauley out to the top for a wide open game. Steps up and missed the 15 footer. Hoover Mayo volleyball taps the rebound to Allen. Allen gives it to Casey. To Lewis on the break. Goes back and lays it in. That's the first good luck Lewis has had with the basketball here in the second quarter. Lewis has eight. 15-13. The lead is cut to two. 4-15 to go before the break. Gaines on top. Bounces high left side. Five feet beyond the arc to Kumler. He goes right back to Gaines. Gaines looks inside. Can't find anybody. Back to the top for Kumler. Kumler squares for three and buries it. What a shot. Casey was squared up on him, and he still knocked down the three-point field goal. For Kumler, the Wildcats' leading scorer, that's his first bucket of the night. And Kokomo has its biggest cushion at 18-13 with 3.50 to go before the intermission. Left wing is Hoover Mail, out to the top for White, back to Casey, left wing. Out front for White, they swing it deep right-hand corner to Allen. Andy lets Denger, can't get him against the zone, they swing it left side to Casey. Casey curls to the top of the key, kills the bounce. Looking for help, finds it in the form of White on the right wing. White. Looking inside, still can't get anybody. He comes out top to Allen, swings it left side to Casey, back out top to Andy. Andy puts it on the floor with a bounce pass to White. A long three is way off the mark. Rebound bounced around and collected by Fowler in the lane. 3-10 to go before halftime. 18-13, Kokomo on top by five. Right side with it is McCauley. Three-pointer. Oh, good. Back-to-back threes, and we have a with Fowler, Farrell, Kumler, and McCauley and Gaines, and it has been Brian McCauley who has been outstanding tonight with nine points, and his team leads 21-13 with 2.55 to go before halftime. Here's Warkentine across the timeline, high left to Hoover Mail. Back to Ian, who swings it right side to Denger, now in the corner to Taylor. Back out front for Warkentine. Ian gives it to Casey. Left wing is Denger, out to the top for Hoover Mail, swings it high right to Taylor. Neal, working down on the right wing, finds Warkentine. Back between the circles with it is Hoover Mail. High right is Warkentine, deep right hand corner now is Taylor. Now between the circles is Hoover Mail, left wing is Denger. Denger looks for a cutter, finds Warkentine. Back to the top for Hoover Mail, high left is Warkentine. This Kokomo 2-3 zone has done an outstanding job against the Tigers. Here's Taylor. Gives it out, deep right-hand corner to Denger. 
Now back between the circles is Casey. Left side is Taylor. Down to the top for Casey. Down low, one of Denver's score. Farrell picked it off in the lane, clears him backcourt to Gaines. Gaines gives it up right wing to McCauley, out to the top for Gaines. Gaines right back to McCauley, square for three, drives the baseline, feeds it down low to Farrell. Pass. Inbounds like he, uh, he normally does with the bad leg. Deep left hand corner is McCauley, he rimmed out the jumper, but Fowler is there for a huge offensive rebound, a jump hook put back. That's his third rebound here in the quarter, Joe. Fowler has six points off the bench, and Kokomo has opened up its biggest lead at 23-13 with a minute and a half to go before the break. Neil Taylor right side, knocks down a three. Neil Taylor averages 2.7 a game, comes off the bench to bury a three, and the Tigers get back to within seven. Top of the key is Gaines, high left side is Coomer, lost it, got it back. Out to the top for Gaines. Swings it high left to Coomer, squares over Dendra for three, off the mark, no. Taylor is out, dueled by McCauley for the rebound. Foul on McCauley, hits the only now with 13 points. He is an outstanding free throw shooter at 77%. Bangs home both here, and the lead is 25-16 with a minute five to go in the half. Working team, high right side to Hoovermail. Back between the rings to working team, left side to Taylor. Now right side with it is Hoovermail. Casey lost the ball, got it back. Back out front for working team, high left is Taylor. Taylor looks in against the zone. Handles on the left wing, out to the top for working team. Right side with it is Hoovermail, down low to Lewis, and a touch foul called in. Ian. Looking for Hoover Mail, has him. Casey spins it out of the right wing. Casey kills the bounce, gives it to the top for working team. Out to Taylor. Taylor fakes, drives, leans in, he travels. Hoover Mail, baseline right of the goal in front court, gets it into Taylor, who slips to the goal. Oh, that's the shot that he Fowler and McCauley. Neil Taylor at the free throw line, shooting two. Hits the, is a good free throw shooter at 80%. And he gets the friendly roll on the second free throw. He has five. And the Kokomo lead is seven. They have the ball. final half minute of first half action. Bobby across the timeline. High left to Kumler as Kokomo brings the ball out high. Kumler leaning in on Trivet. Kills the bounce right of the key. Gives it up to McCauley. Back out front with it is Kumler. Kumler watched tightly by Trivet. Now high left with it is Mobby with a dozen seconds to play. Mobby starts the offense. Out it tightly by working team. Mobby kills the bounce. Gives it up to Kumler. He'll fire from 17. It's short. Trivet and Lebanon will have the ball moving left to right here in the second half. They will play with Ian working team, Jess Denger, Sean Lewis. Andy Allen and Casey Hoovermail, the original starting five. Kokomine, they've trailed by as many as ten. Third quarter underway as Ian Warkentine handles top of the circle. He gives it up high right side to Hoovermail, who drives it to the foul line. Gives it up high right to Warkentine. The ball's picked off by McCauley. He leaps to the goal, missed the shot, but Michael Gaines is there for the foul tap in for his first two points. And that's a big turnover. It sends the Wildcat lead. Wildcats up by nine, 7.34 to go, third quarter. Working team with a... ...out as the ball knocked through. Kimmel picks it up, jumped the right side, seven, Derek Jones, one number four, Tyson Jones, and closes in all the way. Life is good. That's the count to the foul. They dance the broader within one. One free throw, Tyson Jones, shot up good. Jones completes the three-point play. He's got six points in the ball game. It's 24-23. McCauley inbounds to Marley. Bobby now to McCauley. McCauley up the floor on Derek Jones. Drive across the timeline. McCauley still on the dribble. Stopping. Here's it back to Marley. Bobby heading left side. Bump. No foul. Five four. So now we get a whistle. And now finally a foul. is called on Eric. He's bouncing around the year. His free throw is in the air and good. Hit from the line. Marley for one more. Carries next one in the air and good. Well, Kokomo leads down by three, it's 26 to 23. Jones on the dribble across the timeline, it's Tyson Jones. Jones gets it inside, short jump shot is up and in. Kyle Garner with a short banker from five feet out. So Garner with his first two points of the ball game makes it 26 to 25. Bobby spins across the timeline, out of Coomer. Kokomo spreads over the floor, 55 seconds to play. Lee's on a drive, Lee cuts down low, just it off the throw, underneath the basket, shot up, and no good, but it is in a foul call. Oh, that went to foul line. Again, the Wildcats are a little bit too much one-on-one, -on -one, Greg. We're trying to get that, that dribble penetration in there. Eric Bell. Eric's next one is in the air and good. He's got a smooth shooting stroke. 
Eight to 20, eight to 25, and Pocono will try selling the made free throw. Boy with the basketball. Boy clears it to Arms. Arms got it Tyson Jones. Tyson it up the floor, across the timeline. Penetrates, fish off inside. Derek Jones reverses and will miss for the whistle to foul call. Oh, he's got two shots for Derek Jones. First free throw is up and no good. Still a three-point goal against Pocono. Jones is up and good. But Derek Jones in point number seven at the two-point game at 28 to 26. Look out, here's a steal by Tyson Jones. They just stepped on the sideline. On Anderson pressing McCauley inbounds to Marby. Marby now to McCauley. Marby will bring the ball up the floor now on Derek Jones. Right across the timeline. Gets it away to Coomer. 29 to go. Lee starts to close in left side. Drop it back to McCauley. Got the floor spread. Cauley right side to Marby with 20. Bobby heads to the middle, shovels left side, Kumar with 18. Kumar with the basketball, Lee starts to drive, stopping top of the key, gets it to McCauley. McCauley stops, fires it up for 15, no good. Rebound, Anderson with eight. Here come the Indians, three on two. Right with the basketball, right side. He fires the pass, knocked away the control by Derek Jones, and now a whistle for Jones for two shots. First free throw is up and good. And Anderson high score. Jones, next one is in the air and good. He ties up the ball game. They're tied at 28. Here's the long inbound pass. Intercepted Tyson Jones fires from half court. No good. The game is taken out 28. And then at home against Newcastle, the final two ball games of the season. So here we go. Anderson basketball. Both dribbles it up across the timeline. Now to Matterfold. Matterfold driving left side, left baseline. Tyson Jones. Knocked away by Kuhler, but Jones controls. Bounces it outside the post. Goes to the basketball. Johnson help, drive it over right side, goes to Manifold on the wing. Manifold right baseline to the big guy drives and dunks, boosts it up, no good. And the rebound, Brady to James. James for Pocono, runs the dribble up across the timeline. Michael stopping right side, clears it back to Marby. Marby heading left side, spins back to the right, picked up by Bush. Clears it to McCauley on the left wing, grinds and it drives, goes all the way inside, will fire with a board! They climb down with a two-pointer by Brian McCauley. They have a round jump, three by two, 30, 28, 7, 15 to play, first quarter. They try to give it across the line. Push goes to Matterfold on the right side. Matterfold jumps the pass, high post to Miller, to Tyson Jones, Matterfold. One dribble, pull up 18 foot jump shot, no good. Miller sits, no good. Two more to the rebound. Two more away to Marby. Wild chance for the ball with a two point lead. Marby across the 10 second line, heading left side. Terry starts to drive. He cuts to the foul line, goes to McCauley. Brian closes in, will stop and fire. And third back to the foul. That didn't know the Anderson guys. The call is for one foul shot, it's up, but it's no good. And the rebound taken down by Bush. So Anderson with the ball, Coppola leads by forward. 6.45 to play third quarter. Tyson Jones with the ball front court left side. Now they go to Derek Jones, the freshman is checking the ball game. To Eric Bush on the right side. Bush to Derek Jones. Jones looking, Tyson Jones top of the key. Right side, now to Bush. Bush starts to penetrate with the blocking foul on Terry Murphy. Jones looking, Jones blocks the pass outside to Boyd. Boyd now the way to Bush. Bush bounces left side. Tyson Jones steps up and launches a long one. No good and another long foul called on the match. But I'll tell you, the ref's going to call that if you give it up now for the sophomore guard. Jones dives it. Next shot up. That is winning good. Tyson Jones back to the line. Next one up. That's winning good. So Tyson Jones at all three free throws. And it's a one point ball game. Here's the press for Carly in nine for Coomley. Coomer is going to bring the ball up the floor now on Boyd. Lay behind the back on the duo. He crosses the center stripe. Coomer heading left side. Lay still on the dribble. Goes down to the baseline. Pushes it out from that of Michael Gaines. Gaines cut off. Drops it off to Coomer. Lee leans inside. Drops it down low. Brady shoots it up. Good! Brady scores inside off a nice and cool feed from Lee Coomer. 34 31, Pocono by three. Tyson Jones back to the other way for Anderson. He sends a pass back to Derek Jones. Derek Jones to Tyson Jones. Tyson starts to drive. He fires a pass inside the board and he fires it up and in. Boyd got Brady to lead his speed and scored off the glass. But Aaron Boyd with his four point. 34 33, one point lead, Pocono. 5 40 to play, third quarter. Michael James dribbles it up across the timeline. James. Out front between the circles, McCauley. McCauley angles over to the right side, fires the pass inside. If Brady got a risk and a foul, called on the dribble inside. Coomer knocks it away and out of bounds. Knock it away. Now they come inside of Coomer, bombs him out. That's no good. Tip up, no good. And the rebound taken down by Derek Jones. The Bush. Here's the Anders. The Indians have a chance to take the lead. Bush driving left side. Cut off by McCauley. Out front to Derek Jones. Back to Bush. Fake to three. Bush driving, looking. Shovels back to Derek Jones. Derek Jones out front to Tyson Jones. 
Tyson starts to drive. He bounces to first. Oh, what a look. And Creed and Jake and Craig goes to Boyd inside. Shall be good. Boyd messes him up and in again. Amos is trying to get inside. Indians by one, 35-34. 458 to play in the third. Lee came over the basketball for Kokomo. Lee up the floor on Boyd. Came here across the timeline. Came here driving left side. And has a ball knocked away. But it was going to pass all on Boyd. Down. Charlie plays it. Michael Gaines left side. Gaines circles down front. Gaines being bumped by Bush. Still on the dribble. South pass. Low post. Brady with this. Foul going to be called up. Charlie inbounds to Brady. Left baseline. Not a game. Gaines to the basketball. To McCauley. Drive. Going to drive inside. As it knocked away. But another foul on Anderson. Little bounds. Leading by his chairman by one. Inside the corner. Leading underneath the basket. Shot is blocked. And the rebound. Oh, my goodness. The freshman Derek Jones just made a terrific block. And Anderson to the basketball. Now Bush. Way to the front court. They shot high right side. Tyson Jones. 420 to play, third quarter, the Indians for the ball, a one-point lead. Right wing to Tyson Jones, out of Derek Jones, to Eric Bush. Bush for the ball, cut off by McCauley. Bush looks for an opening, can't find one. Goes back to Tyson Jones, now to Eric Bush, he steps up and has a shot blocked by Dean. So Tyson Jones with a rebound. Jones right baseline to Boyd, knocked away out of bounds, the last touch by Coconut. Jones will inbound. Jones looking. Jones plays it right side to Matterford. Matterford steps out now and sets up the half court. Double Derek Jones, third circle out front of one to Boyd. Bounces it now in the lane. That corner leading in, shooting it up, no good. And the rebound taken down by uh, Matt Brady. And Brady clears it away to Michael Green. They're out there for the ball, down by one. Gaines across the line. Michael penetrates inside, fires it up and scores! Oh, great drive in the hole. The three-pointer by Michael Gaines. He's got four. The runner by Gaines up and in off the glass. It's 36 to 35. Pokemon by one. 330 to play, third quarter. Derek Jones to Tyson Jones. Bring it around left side to Manifold. Manifold, far side line, left side, top of the key. Derek Jones, got it. Tyson Jones to the right side to Manifold at the point. Manifold spinning. Manifold with all kinds of trouble. Back to Carter. Now to Derek Jones. Left baseline to Boyd. 15 footer in the air. No good. Rebound taken down by Kilmer. Kilmer cradles the basketball protection and plays it away to Gaines. Gaines for Pokemon. Michael across the timeline. He crosses it over on the move now. Stop, stop of the key. Lots of pass to Kilmer. Outside jumper. Remy. No good. And the rebound taken down by Carter. Oh, that one. Spun out at him. Garner gets it away, not a Manifold. Manifold across the timeline. He penetrates the lane, gets it up inside. Garner right up and in. Oh, Manifold with a dandy throw inside of Kyle Garner for the layup. It's 37 to 36. Anderson regains the lead by one. Back and forth he goes. 240 to play in the third quarter. NCC basketball tonight from Pokemon and Memorial Chin. Michael Gaines on the dribble across the timeline. Right side, they get a Brian McCauley. He sends a pass, low post, turn and follow. Wolf inside. She's on the goal. Oh, that big body and Hayden took it inside. Boy, he's got four in the ball game and took it over the one point lead. 38 to 37 Wildcats. Matterport back in the way. He drops it back to Derek Jones. Cross court to Tyson Jones. Tyson Jones looks for an opening. He swings the pass to Matterport on the right wing. Matterport on the standing dribble. Back to Tyson Jones. Cross court Derek Jones. Derek Jones. Couple of dribbles. Jesse. Deep left quarter to Boyd. Boyd back to Derek Jones. Derek Jones on the dribble. Starts to penetrate, cuts inside, will stop and fire. Carter, oh my, a floating jumper ripped out of the way by the freshman Derek Jones. He's got 11 in the ball game. 39 to 38, Anderson by one. 150 to play in the third quarter. Gaines on the left foot, dribbling across the timeline. He bounces near sideline to Kuhler. Kuhler wanted Brady and so wanted follow and drive. Can't find him and so goes to Gaines at the top of the key. He clears it to Brady, outside jump shot of a good! Now Brady knows a 10 footer for the left side and Pokemon leads by one. 30 39. Cats, one city to play in the third. Manifold for Anderson across the timeline. Manifold looking, still looking. Finally drops it off five sidelines to Tyson Jones. Tyson Jones right side to Derek Jones. One city to play in the third, and now the Indians will back it up. The Pokemon sits back in the 2-3 zone. Anderson can to just hold on the basketball. We have one ten to play third quarter, and Pokemon holds a one-point lead of 40-39. So they started to do this at the end of an earlier quarter and decided then to take it in and uh, paid off for Kokomo at the end. I got a feeling now after what happened today, they're going to be content down to have you pull out the ball for one final shot. Yeah, I say, well, I'm a little surprised, Dave, because they were playing pretty effectively. My land, they're able to get the ball inside and they're in there. They have continued been able to split our guards and get inside the lane on that good penetration. So the Anderson Indians just hold on the basketball. Clock winding down to 38 seconds to play. 
They will have used up the final one minute and 15 seconds of the quarter. Talking about crowd starting to get into it now. Oh, they're all right there. Listen to the boys at the Mayo Gym. 25 seconds to go. I've never heard so much noise for a star before in my life. Clock, 15 seconds. Anderson just holding the ball. 39, second up by one. Now the Indians start to run the play. Jones, not a third with eight. Must be center go to Garner with six with five and has a ball game. Jones, Ramsey, knocks away, follow, open drive, stop, launches a long one, no good. Off the back of the road, quarter right after this. Raises a call, he inbounds the Kimmer in the front court. Bounce it inside, Herman, follow, layup, there's no good. And a battle for the rebound, it's finally controlled by Kumo. Outside to Bobby. Pokemon resets, Bobby to Kumo, breaking off the screen left side. Kumo turns, starts to drive, cuts inside, has the ball knocked away and out of bounds, and lost set by Pokemon, 40-39. First quickly to the front court, down the middle to the Indians. First on the right side of the pass to Jones. Outside to Tyson Jones, out of first, fakes the three. First on the left wing to Jerry Jones, to Tyson Jones. Right baseline to Ramsey. Ramsey looking inside, guns it down to first. Quickly left side, Jerry Jones, shot shot, no good. And Herman Potter rebounds for the Wildcats. Potter has a ball knocked away, but Herman gets it back. Nearly stolen by Ramsey, not a Marby. Marby to the Carly. The Carly across the timeline, lost it off inside. Brady knocked away. Brady controls up there, no good. And the rebound taken down by Anderson. The Indians with the ball, burst down the middle, across the timeline. Still a one-point Pocono lead, 40-39. First to Jerry Jones, out of Tyson Jones. He fires the pass, wide open, Ramsey, jumper, no good. Rebound, Jerry Jones has it. Jerry Jones for Anderson, shoving for Carter, not a burst. First to the basketball. First starts to penetrate, has the ball, tipped loose by Bobby, set it by Kimmer. Now knocked three and set it right back now by Burst. Burst has it knocked away by Mabby, and finally Burst controls up the floor to Tyson Jones. Jones closes in, shovels Derek Jones, no good! Derek Jones scores, Anderson takes the lead. He's got 13 points in the ball game. 41-40, Anderson by one, some wild action. 6.25 left in the ball game, and Pocono screaming for a timeout. Timeout call is Michael James will inbound. James plays it to Mabby. Jerry Mobby up the floor, carry across the sideline with Burst down over him. Mobby left side quarter court, now to James. James, Michael's on a baseline drive, cut off by Derek Jones, outside to Mobby. Jerry low post, Herman Fowler wheels inside, short jump, and good! Oh, what a move by Herman Fowler to score! And off that is five center inside. 42-41, Pokemon leads by one. Derek Jones in the front court now for Anderson. Now to Bush, Bush to the basketball for the Indians. Bush starts to back his way into the foul line. They shot Derek Jones, baseline drive, stop, fires, misses. He got his own rebound, tip loose, and out of bounds the last touch by. Derek Jones will inbound the basketball. Gets the ball. Jones plays it now to Bush. Bush drives inside, fires that up, no good. Bad shot. The Wildcat rebound taken down by Kimmer. The defense away goes to Robbie. To the Wildcats to the ball, a one-point lead. Bobby across the timeline. Jerry drives. They'll have McCauley open, but now Tyson Jones comes out. Jones on McCauley. Fly to Kumo. Left side to go to Bobby. Bobby with the basketball. Now to McCauley. McCauley cuts down low. Stops and fires. No good. And the rebound taken down by Boyd of Anderson. Away goes to Bush. 5.15 left in the ball game. Pocono leads by 1, 42 41. Tyson Jones to the front court for the Indians. Now we go to Derek Jones on the right side. Long cross court pass intercepted. Herman follows. Herman across the timeline. Herman goes to McCarty inside the Brady layup. No good. Whistle foul called. Brady makes it tonight's ball game. Brady's first one is up and good. <laughs> Lead. It's in that kind of game. Brady's next one, no good. And a violation. That's next one. In the end, good. But Brady makes him pay for it as he hits the second free throw. Pokemon lead by three. Anderson has one, two, three, four, three pointers to the ball game. If you think about three, Madison, right baseline to Boyd. Boyd long cross court pass, nearly thrown away. Nice catch by Tyson Jones. Bounces right side to Eric Boyd. Boyd to the ball, back to Tyson Jones. Long three, no good. And Brady with a rebound. Brady down a pass, goes to James. 4.35 left, Pokemon to ball, three point lead. Michael James driving top of the key. Takes the driven up in trouble. Now to McCauley, Brian, three-pointer, good! Oh, McCauley, back to the three! The Pokemon leads up! Brian McCauley with 14 points in the ball game. The lead Pokemon scoring hit the big three moments ago. And it's a basketball, still a lot of time left. 4-15, not a goal. Right base on the good boy, not a boy. Outside, Tyson Jones. 
Goes holding high, lost it past the middle down low. Ball knocked away, but it was quick in the play. Good will push inside, middle with the foul called on Tumo. Only team found it. Worth looking. Worth plays it deep. Nice catch, Tyson Jones. Derek Jones is getting set to check back in. Tyson starts it by Manifold. Bombs up a long one. Got it. Oh, a three-pointer by Brett Manifold. A big shot for Anderson. 47 to 44. It's a three-point game. A Tumo for the Wildcats. Turner up the floor, Lee across the timeline, shattered by Manifold, double team nearly a steal by Bush, outside Michael James, 345 to play, the Wildcats with the ball, a three-point lead, Anderson with 16 fouls, in the other drive, with the foul called, so that's his score in the second half, free throw good. Uh, they're 13 out of 15. One more foul shot, Lee Turner, next one is up, got it. Turner with 10 points in the ball game, and Colton on each side side, Eric Bush could be the front court. Goes for the basketball. He swings it back. Left side, Tyson Jones. Both Jones is in the ball game now. Out front to Brett Manifold. Manifold looking. Right wing to Bush. Bush starts to penetrate. Derek Jones, right baseline. Jones certainly looking. Bush pass to Tyson Jones out front. 320 to play. Now to Bush. Takes the three. Drive. Fires up along outside. Jumper. That's no good. Brady with another rebound. Pick out a pass. Michael Dean. Gains across the timeline. Gains for the Wildcats. Looking. Shovel to McCauley. McCauley circles out front. Ryan directing traffic. 3.05 to play. Flop pass underneath the foul. Knocked away. Shoulder by Bush. Here come the Indians. Bush across the timeline. Bush had a drive all the way. The zip blocked by Brady. But it was for the foul. Wildcats well, ranked number one in the coaches poll, number two at 18 this week. Free throw, Bush in the air, good. One more. Next foul shot is in the air, winning no good. And the rebound lost it about by both substitutions. Ron Heckland, T. Bush will inbound. Bush inside, Manifold shut up, no, tip up, no. Rebound, shot for who shot it. Finally, Kruger knocked it a quarter foul call out of it. Wildcats blew by four, 49 to 45. Schumer shoots one up, got it. Corner all year long. Schumer fires again, got it again. Lee Schumer is given Coco now a six-point advantage. It's 51 to 35. Bush plays it inbound. Tyson Jones got a push. Bush across the timeline. Bush driving left side. Tyson Jones. Tyson cuts down the lane. Has the ball knocked free, but it was in a foul point on Coco. All of our foul was called, but Jones for two. His first free throw is up and good. Anderson off slowly a little bit, but now they're coming on. Next one winning good. Jones gets a couple from the line. It's a four-point ball game, 51-47. McCauley inbounds the game. Jack Duffy to McCauley. McCauley long out of the field, the ball away. Ryan threw it way over the head of Lee Coomer out of bounds. Bounds to Bush. They're both playing with four personal fouls. Bush across the timeline to Manifold. Right baseline to Derek Jones. Got a Manifold. Outside Tyson Jones. Tyson Jones, far side lines to Bush. Goes to the basketball, way outside, out of Manifold, 220 to play. Tyson Jones steps up and bombs a three, no good. Rebound kept alive by Miller. Ball goes out of bounds around. McCauley plays it to Miller. Miller double team in the backcourt. Gets it to McCauley, going to have to hurry to beat the 10. Long down the floor, through the ball away again. So another way, uh, just, just in a new ladder. There it goes now, across the timeline. Bush getting left side for the Indians. Take possession, two minutes to play. Anderson down by four. Bush dribbles around top of the key. Bush stopping right side. Right baseline and Manifold takes the three. Cut off by Coomer and all kinds of trouble. Finally gets it outside the Bush. He fires it back at Tyson Jones and we got a whistle. The team down. Plays it to Arms. Got it Derek Jones. Now back to Arms. Right side to go Tyson Jones. He penetrates the lane. Scoops one up. No good. Coomer with a rebound. Coomer looking for the outlet man. Lee's going to bring the ball up the floor now. Schumer picks the dribble up, gets it to Gaines. Going to backcourt, Michael across the timeline. Gaines driving left side, 130 to play. Gaines outside to Schumer. Poking over the ball, leading by four. Schumer's got an opening, Lee all the way, shot up no. And we got a whistle for the foul throw. Schumer's first free throw, good. Four. Lee's next run, and here again. Poking over inside six, 53-47. Bush across the timeline, and Anderson wants down. Holly, Silver, Brady, and Fowler. Bush for the ball, outside of Manifold. Manifold spinning. Manifold looking, gets it back to Ramsey for a long three. That's no good. Rebound, Herman Fowler. Yeah, I can't believe that's the shot Anderson wanted. Fowler out of James. Michael, double team in the backcourt looking. He jumped the pass, threw it away. Picked off by Bush. Bush across the timeline for Anderson. Bush out of Ramsey, fires up another long one. That's no good. And Brady with a rebound. Brady looking, Brady plays it to James, 
49 seconds to play. Game 17 knocked away. Game kicks it back, and it's a ball call. Jones plays it outside the arms. He's going to fire up a long three. That's no good. It's up and good. Jones and Manifold over there. They're going to give it to Derek Jones on the tip end. If he plays 49, two more across the timeline. Bounces left side underneath Brady. Shot up. No. Brady gets his rebound back up. Good. Brady scores and goes for the chance. This is tied. 49. Big basket leads at six with 20 seconds to play. Anderson leads at three. Tyson Jones dribbling around. He cuts down the lane. Derek Jones shot up. He'll give it a foul ball. 15 seconds free throws, Derek Jones. It's tested as 15 points in the ball game. He fires and hits the line for two. And for one shot, free throw is good as he had hit for the one in the timeout was called. So Jones gets the next one to go. And make it now 55 51. Inbound Turner, lay up the floor. Turner jumps it to Brady inside all the way. Starts with a three. Jones, that's no good. 57 to 51. Burst fires up the long one. No good. Rebound Jones back up. No good. And for you right after that. Roses are red. Violets are blue.